What's going on everybody? So, I am making pulled pork barbecue pizza tonight. And I'm basically just using leftover pork from a cook I did the other day for work. I didn't video it, um, but I will be doing a video of a pork shoulder on the Traeger, which I did this on the Traeger. And I'll be doing a brisket on the Traeger as well, but I've got here, I've got my pulled pork already chopped up and I've got it refrigerated here. And I've got some uh, chopped up onion here that I'm gonna put on the pizza as well. And over here, I've got this bread maker I specifically ordered just for making my dough in because I got tired of using the mixer. And bread makers make great dough makers. As you can see, it's beating up the dough right now. So, once we uh, get outside, I'll put the pizza on. And I may even show a little bit of me putting the pizza together here. So, anyways, uh, actually, why don't we go out to the acorn? Because, yes, I am still like using the acorn. People are asking me all the time, are you still using the acorn? I love that acorn. And, yes, I'm still using it. Uh, I'm using a Traeger as well and the acorn. Not, nothing wrong with options, right? So let's go out here and check this out. So I'm cleaning, uh, I'm cleaning up the acorn right now. I've gotten all the old ash out and this is what's left of my lump just these little bitty pieces of uh lump i'm gonna top it up with uh this bnb lump charcoal and uh great so i'll put them back in place and i'll put the pizza stone on there and we'll do a direct fire underneath the pizza stone but yeah <clears throat> i'm just prepping this up for my pizza cook so anyways Yes, I still use the acorn and I am going to do some more videos on the acorn in the future. Actually, one video I will be doing is I'll be doing the uh, Thanksgiving turkey cook smoke on the acorn. And it comes out so good every year, guys. So, anyways, when we get to making this pizza, I'll get back to you. Alright, guys. So, I'm going to put this pizza together. I've already put the dough, made the dough earlier in the dough maker. And... Uh, I got it laid out here. I've got some uh, cornmeal on there to help that crust slide right off of my uh, peel. And let's go ahead and get this going, shall we? Let's go ahead and do our sauce. All right. I got a back end of a spoon here, I'm just kind of kind of spread it out some. I like to get it real close to the edges. As much as I want. Nice. All right, now we're gonna take our pulled pork. Just gonna scatter it all over. Best thing you can do with pulled pork, man, is make a pizza afterwards. With all that leftover pork you got. You can do a lot with leftover pulled pork. This is one of the wonderful things you can do with it. Don't let any of it escape. Right. <clears throat> Looks pretty good. Now, let's take our chopped onion here and just gonna kind of scatter it about. I actually have the acorn heating up right now too. I'm gonna get up to about 500 degrees or so. That looks pretty good. If you hate onion, bypass this step. Now I'm gonna do some mixed cheese here, cheddar and Colby, I believe.
That looks pretty good, man. Use the rest of this up. There's our pizza. And if you want, you can actually take the sauce. Let's do some drizzles across the top. Just like that, you know? I like that. So now, I'm going to go check on the uh, acorn. And when it's hot enough, I'm going to throw this on and we'll go do that. All right, guys. We are at the acorn. We're just over the 400 mark. I usually, you know, like bake my pizzas between 400 500 mark. Right around 500 is fine as well. So let's open her up. Oh, yeah, you got a nice, real hot stone there. You can see you got a nice bed of coals going underneath. And we got our also delicious pork, pulled pork pizza. Let's go ahead and slide it off. This is why the cornmeal is incredibly important. Boom, slides right off the pizza peel. So I'm going to close this up and let it go. But yeah, you'll see all the cornmeal. And since I'm outside, all I do, you know, cornmeal is actually good for your yard, believe it or not. Um, so we're just going to kind of dump it off. Boom, just like that. And uh, we will come and check on this pizza here in about five minutes or so. All right, guys, let's check on our pizza. Oh, man, look at that. Oh yeah, that barbecue just kind of, you know, getting real tacky and solidifying on the crust. Awesome. Almost done. About five more minutes. Yep, I'm excited. All right, let's open it up. Oh, she's ready to come off the grill, guys. Go ahead and slide the peel up under there, just like so. Look at that. <laughs> so much sauce and it's jiggling a little bit. It looks so good, man. Let's get inside. All right, here's our pizza. Let's cut in. My daughter really wants this pizza. <laughs> crunchy pizza. That's what that bread flour will do, man. If you want a real crunchy crust, use bread flour. Guaranteed every time. Crunchy pizza. Real hot pizza stone. And, uh... Yeah, that's all you need. It's a real hot pizza stone and bread flour. Let's go ahead and cut this way. But yeah, that signature crunch. And there it is, y'all. Barbecue pizza. Yum, yum. So I'm going to try a bite. It's really, really, really good. So, anyways, come make your own barbecue pizza. Take some of that leftover barbecue, brisket, pork, whatever. Make your own pizza. I'm gonna eat some dinner. Cheers.